Hi, my name's Aaron. If you don't know, I'm one of the hosts of this show, Game Grumps. Just wanted you to know that drugs are no joke. And if you do drugs, I'll probably beat the crap out of you. I'll actually find you. And it's not like a cool thing. Like it's like, oh, he's gonna come and beat the crap out of me himself. And like, wow, I'm gonna get to meet Aaron. No, it's like, it's gonna hurt. So don't do drugs. I'm not being paid to say this, this is just what I believe. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump, I'm not so Grump, and we're the Game Grumps! Hi! Hello! Oh, welcome! Welcome to Game Grumps! Uh, I'm feeling refreshed. B did you have like one of those five minute naps? I don't know how long the nap was, but I was watching a, a, a YouTube documentary about borderline personality disorder, and Ooh. I was like, this is very interesting. And then, like five minutes is, I, I was like, man, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling a little sleepy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes and just like, you know, still listen to it. And then I just wake up to the door opening and it's like, it's very hard living with this, and I'm like, what the f- what is going on yeah. right now? I've done that. I've done that for sure. And I don't know how much- I guess I could look at where it was in the video, and- But I don't know when I fell asleep. It's super weird how, like, you lose track of time when you sleep, and you don't know whether you've been asleep for, like, you know, half a minute or an hour, you know? Like, when, when you go into that deep sleep. But you still have, like, a sense. Yeah, well, there's that- there's that Todd Barry joke where he talks about how he's on the plane, and he orders a Diet Coke from the stewardess, and then, like, oh, and then, uh, he's like, and then she, he sees her again, he, like, nods off, and he wakes up, and he's like, hey, can I get that Diet Coke? And she's like, oh, impatient, aren't we? And he's like, and that's when I realized I'd been asleep for two seconds. <laughs> so it was like, can I get a Diet Coke? Hey, where's my Diet Coke? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Meanwhile, while you were napping, I got a really fucking sweet email. From uh, Gwen shares Blake's secret, and it's Gwen Stefani spills the secrets on Blake's weight loss, and I'm like, "Wow, who fucking cares? And why <laughs> did I get this email?" What? Well, so it was from here. Check it out. Gwen spills the secrets. That's the email. Gwen opens up about her new relationship and what led to Blake's, Blake's dramatic weight loss. Blake from The Voice? I don't know. Who ca who gives a shit? Whatever happened to I don't, I, What happened to Gavin Rossdale? Yeah, what happened? He cheated to him? on her. What? I know, right? Uh, <laughs> we just turned into like two gossipy like on Gwen oh Stefani, God. but she's so cute. Yeah, she is cute. Um yeah, he was I think he was uh sleeping with their nanny. What? Yeah, for like an extended period of time. That must be a hot fucking nanny. Uh I don't know. Sometimes cheating generally like, from what I've read about cheating in, like, psychology books and stuff, it's, like, not about, uh, the- the person you're cheating on, or the person you're cheating on them with. It's about, like, um, shit going on with yourself, you know, that, like, um, has very little to do with the other people involved. It's very strange. But, like, which is why Arnold Schwarzenegger cheated on his, like, Maria Shriver with his, like, nanny, which, uh, not an attractive lady. Hmm. Gotta tell you, but it's like a it's like a power thing. It's a, a who who even knows who even knows. I don't want to psychoanalyze people. I don't know, but like, um, yeah. I, I and I believe the way he was caught, Gavin Rossdale. This is is that he uploaded uh, pic naked pictures of the nanny to a shared iCloud account that he has with Gwen Stefani. So uh, yeah, good job, good job, Gavin. Well, you blew it. I guess he's gonna have to rely on those uh, those Bush concerts that are just yeah tearing tickets up. Tickets are <laughs> flying off the shelves for those. Yeah, well, yeah, that shit was bananas. B a n a n a s. <laughs> I can't even imagine cheating. Like it's uh, I don't know. He, he ain't gonna holler back, girl. I just don't have it in my blood. I did it when I was younger, and it is not good. It is not worth it. Uh, because A, you get caught, <laughs> and B, like, it feels terrible for everyone involved, and, uh, it doesn't bring you the satisfaction that you think it will. It's just, usually you're fucking insecure, or, you know what, I won't speak for anyone else. I was insecure, and I was just like, uh, uh, this will make me a man- I don't fucking know what I was thinking, I was like 19. Shit was like 20-something years ago. 
Yeah, I don't really... I, I, I don't know, I can't like... Anytime I think about it, I'm like, oh no, that's... Well, you're also an extremely monogamous person. By, um... Uh... By nature. Is that true? Yeah. Do, it, what do you mean, is that true? You've been with one girl for like 15 years. Well, that's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, I like, I like girls, I think they're pretty, and I'm like, ooh, I, I'm attracted to her, and like... But the, the thing is, like, I don't know, I guess I found a girl that, like, I can chat about that with. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, ooh, she's cute, and Susie will be like, yeah, she's way cute, and I'm like, cool. Cool. Anyway, some other topic now. <laughs> like, it's, 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 I don't know, it like, gets out of my system and I don't have to, like, obsess over it. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I was very, like, uh, when I was younger, I was like, I need to sleep with a lot of girls to prove what a man I am, you know? Like, just fucking insecure fucking caveman bullshit. And, uh, and, and that edge softens as you get older. Cause you're like, boy, no one's keeping score. Like, who fucking cares? Like, let me just have, um, let me just share things with girls that I like, you know? Like, and, uh... Wait, is this a dead end up here? This is what I hate about this. No, 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 this is where you needed the key to get to. Right. Yep. So... Oh, but maybe you already did this because that's where the key was necessary. No, I... I fell... I think I'm going the right way. Okay. Well, I sure do have confidence in you, because when has this ever gone astray? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Um... I, uh... I'm very monogamous with, uh, my football team. I've only liked the Giants, and that's it. Yeah. So... There's that. I don't think... See, this is the thing. I don't think there's any right and wrong when it comes to relationships and dating and love and sex and... All these things, like... Sure. You, you just... The only... The only thing that matters is that you're super fucking honest and upfront about your intentions. Like... That was a shocking thing to me, because I guess... It was just because I didn't, like, talk to a lot of girls when I was growing up, you know, because I was a big Dungeons and Dragons-y nerd and I didn't know how to talk to girls. And I just thought that, like... It just didn't occur to me... Like, you just look at movies, and you base shit off that, or like what you see on TV, and you're like, all girls want monogamous relationships, and, and that's it, you know? And, uh, meanwhile, different girls want completely different things, you know? So, I've had situations where I wanted a relationship, and the girl was like, you pussy, like, I just, like, I just want this to be a physical thing. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you know? It's just, there's no fucking right or wrong. It, it's just... If you're not clear about what you want, or you don't know what you want, that's- that's also a dangerous thing. Um... But yeah, it, it, you just gotta do what's right by you and- and what's right by the other person, and then everything's fucking fine. Like, there's no parameters. I like parameters. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, well, because otherwise, how will you have more than one meter? What? It's a parameter. Oh, I got you. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. You just, you just, uh, you just play that Zelda, baby. <laughs> Whoa! I gotta do the comedies, too. Yeah. Okay, so this is- I don't is... know how I got off on that tangent. Sorry about that. So we were talking about cheating. Oh, yeah! We were talking about- d d That's, that's the ultimate thing. Just don't do that. Don't cheat? Yeah, don't cheat. If you feel like you want to sleep with a bunch of different, uh, women or men or whatever you're into, uh, just tell your partner that. Um, and if they're like, that's not for me, and you guys have to split, then so be it. Um... Yeah, but what if I'm incredibly insecure, Dan, and like, I can't... I can't afford- I can't emotionally afford to leave the person that I'm with, but I also feel like I want to sleep with other people. Yeah, well then... I'm not saying that's the case. Yeah. I'm just saying... Hypothetically! If I feel that- well, I certainly did when I was younger. Yeah. Well, then you just have to not act on it. Like, <laughs> that's it. Like, make that decision. Like, am I gonna be honest and faithful to this person I love? Or, uh, am I going to fuck around behind their back and blow everything up eventually? Probably the second one. Yeah, great. Or even if you do get away with it, like, fucking, you'll feel guilty. Like, it's not good. It's not, like, I don't know. But what if I don't feel guilt? What then if you're I, probably a sociopath. What if I don't experience human empathy? Yeah. I mean... I don't know. 
You're asking a lot of questions I can't relate to. What if... I'm like... Murder is great. Then you... Are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what if there was like a psychologist or like a psychiatrist or whatever you go to and it's just like, he's just like... His whole rule of thumb is you're either an asshole or you're not. Yeah, I mean, I've read- I've read things like that. This is, these are not my words, so don't hold me to this. But like, just because you brought up borderline personality disorder, like I saw it on one website where it was like, It's a- it's a really nice medical way of saying you're a dick. <laughs> and you're fucking shitty to people around you. I was like, wow. Well, alright. Yeah. Well, I didn't- I didn't- that's not- those are not my words. <laughs> don't hold me to that. Yeah. Anyone with BPI. Well, that's a BPD. That's what I said. Borderline personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's why it's a disorder, right? Like then it's then it's sort of something that can that can like because if if you're doing something shitty and you intend on hurting somebody, then that's a whole other thing. Yeah, that's 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 the thing I was reading or I was hearing about that, and also that I've read in books about it, is that like b people with BPD will like. Exhibit manipulative behavior, right? But it'll only appear manipulative, whereas on the other, uh, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, the the BPD person is just like doing something in desperation, like the uh, only thing they know how to do, and it's and it's not manipulative at all. But like the result usually comes out in the favor of the BPD sufferer. Gotcha. Because it's something like rash or, uh, you know, in the example of the video, it was like this woman wrote this, uh, letter in blood. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, I just, I just, I was just panicking and I didn't know what to do, so I just did that. And it's, and it's like, it seems like, oh, it was this elaborate scheme to, to get what I want out of the situation. So I like, you know, did this like, wrote this letter that they couldn't refuse and shit like that, and it was, you know. Right. But it was just kind of like this knee-jerk reaction on her end. This is, this is a weird question. To ask randomly in the middle of a fucking Zelda playthrough. Uh huh. But I mean, shit, Zelda playthroughs seem to be like where we get deep. Like, do you believe in evil? In what sense? Like, do you think that there are certain people who are born, like, and all they want to do, like, they understand the difference of, like, what is good and evil, quote unquote, like, what is the right and the wrong thing to do, and they intentionally choose the wrong thing do not care about, like, uh, anyone's feelings, and, um, are just so filled with hate and, and, and get genuine joy out of doing, like, terrible things to other people. Like, cause, that just seems like a sociopath kind of thing. Yeah. But, like, evil has this other, almost like this otherworldly connotation, you know? Like, they're being driven by a force beyond, like, yeah, beyond I, that. Then I think that's, like, a disorder or something, you know, right? Right, um, right. And then whether or not that can be, I don't know, cured or whatever, is is an entirely other thing. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess, if, if, if by evil you mean something that's, like, a little more scientific than that, then yes. I- I- I, I- I do believe that there's some kind of... I think I actually mean something a little less scientific than that, like... You're just born bad. No, I don't think that's... I- yeah. I don't... I don't believe in that. I don't think I do either. I think... I think people are, like, at their core good. And then, like, there are certain people that have, like, psychological issues. I think that people are at their core wanting to survive. Right. And then, and then based on how they go through life, um, and like, have the experiences of survival, then that will, you know, like, inform their decisions or their morals or whatever through the rest of their life. So if they go through life being an asshole, and then that works out for them, then why would you stop being an asshole? Wow. Good question. You know? And, yeah. and, and where would you learn being an asshole from? You'd probably learn it from somebody in your life, like a parent or like a brother. Or right, right. You'd pick that behavior up from someone yeah. as like the right thing to do. Or the thing that works. So I don't I don't think that you, you can come out the womb being a supervillain. Yeah, yeah. It's... I don't know. I mean, we'll never know the answer, really, but yeah. like... That's just my opinion. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's just like my opinion, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's 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 a very strange thing. I was talking to an ex girlfriend uh, the other day, and she got me <laughs> who I consider to be evil. No, no, she's super cool. <laughs> um, and uh, we were talking about another uh, ex girlfriend of mine that had like happened since the one I was speaking to. I don't know if that's confusing or not. Right. Um, but she was just giving me advice on the situation, and I was like, man, I think it would be hard. To get back together with this girl, knowing that she's, even if she wanted to, just knowing that she's slept with another person, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and this ex who I was talking to is like, it wouldn't bother you. Like, we're animals. And I was like, oh yeah, we're animals. <laughs> like, and I don't, there was just something like so matter of fact about the way she said it that like made me start applying that like we're animals thought to everything. I was like, wow, this is really making me rethink a lot of shit. Um... I... I don't know. I think it probably would bother you. <laughs> I think it... I think it might... I, I don't know, like, it's just one of those things if that, where, like, If that's how you feel instinctually, then I think it would. Right, right, right. I, I think there's probably a way that you can get around that and, like, come to terms with it, but... Right. I, I think if you feel like it would upset you, then it probably will. Pro probably. Probably. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh, man. That door is like the, um... The great grandfather of like the gross tongue and jaw treasure chest from Dark Souls. Oh yeah. Nice bomb throw. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> you blew up the door. <laughs> Hi, it's good to see a person. <laughs> wow, well, it's been a long time. Whoa. Oh shit. Are we fighting a thing. I'm fighting a thing. Next time on Grim Rune. Oh, oh, jeez, really? Holy shit. No, oh, dude. Uh, uh bye. E evil is real. Oh wait, whatever, fuck it. This is the seventh episode. Yeah, let's this fucking do it! Do what it. are you talking about? Yeah! Right, woo! Let's do it. Woo! Uh, wow. Yeah, fuck you, fire ballerina. Whoa, 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 whoa hey, okay. Hey. hey, what's up? That thing looks like, um, wrong way from Qbert. What? No, 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 not wrong way, Sly. Like, er, 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 uh... One of the little green dudes with the mohawk that, like, hops down the thing and changes the colors in Qbert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's Dick. Slick might be his name. This is hilarious. This is kind of funny. I love this little guy. Is it the same person? Yeah, it's like- it's Oh like, yeah! It's like it's imbued with fire and- It's like Krang. How many old ass references can I make? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. All from like the early 80s. Yeah. Except- Except people know what Krang is, right? He, he's in the new iterations of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, but they don't- Oh no, they call them the Krangs. Yeah. Cool. They, they were the- in the original comic, they were called the U-Troms. The U-Troms? Yeah, it was like a race of, like, tiny brains that went inside, like, robot bodies. It was the first, like, major arc in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. Right. And they were, like, they were disguising as people, and then you find out, it's like this big twist at the end of a chapter where it's like, We're actually brains inside of people, and it's like, whoa, holy crap! That's nuts! Yeah. This little, this little bitch is evil. But then they made one in the cartoon, and they called it Krang. And then, uh, in the recent cartoons, they brought back the U-Trom subplot where there's, like, a bunch of them, mm -hmm. but they call them the Krangs. Weird. Just because, like, people are used to Whoa, it. Whoa, nice job. Did it! Oh, shit! Oh, snap! Oh, bitch! Oh, god! Oh, shit! My penis is large! Is large! You know what I just thought of? So I could- just to finish our conversation from earlier? I don't mean to interrupt your penis rap. Sorry. No problem. I think it's also that we're not, like, you and I aren't like, particularly religious people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, like, and this, obviously, we never make, or we try never to make statements about that stuff, because we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. If you're, if you're religious, like, go for it, you know? No judgment. But, like, um, I, I think, I think people who are religious tend to gravitate towards ideas of, like, good and evil, maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, because that is, like, more entwined in their belief system. Yeah. You know? And I think because we don't have that, you know, uh, in our lives, maybe we just don't think about it very much. Hmm. So that's- We don't know a lot of evil people. Yeah. Are you saying? I mean, fucking, I can think of a couple who are, hmm, <laughs> clo <laughs> closer than others. Well, so, um, what I've learned about storytelling, about my studies in storytelling is that, um, in particular, America, or Western 
storytelling is very, um, combative. Yeah, good versus evil. Yeah, um, but there's a lot of methods of storytelling that aren't. That's why I always liked Star Trek, and Star Trek The Next Generation. Like, even the worst piece of shit characters always had, like, a reason for being that way. Yeah. Like, their people had been destroyed, or they went crazy at some point, like... It's very, very humanist kind of yeah. nice megaton hammer. I'm telling you, bro. That'll fucking slap the good into some people. <laughs> but like, you know, there's a, like, for example, like a, a, like a Buddhist story wouldn't have conflict at all, right? Like it's, it's all very like internal and it's just about experience and stuff like that. Right. Um, which, you know, to a Westerner would seem like a very boring story, but to somebody who grew up with Buddhist beliefs right. would think that maybe it's not so boring. Well, we like the hero's quest. Yes. You know, we're like, for if anyone wants to look that up, like the, 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 the hero's hero, journey. The hero's journey. I think that's it, yeah. Um, uh, the hero of a thousand faces. Yeah, the, the hero's journey is the basis of, I mean, what percentage would you say? A shit ton of movies and books yeah. and M everything. most modern storytelling is based on the hero's journey. Yeah, even, even like, well, because I feel like a lot of the stories from certain cultures, like Greek culture, right, is very uh, hero's journey oriented. Uh, should I? Yes, I should. Yeah, because I mean, the, these stories were meant to teach morals. Uh, in a lot of ways, in in the olden times. Yeah. So what better way to to and teach morals than to show how courage overcomes fear, and yeah. you know how you can succeed in your life doing things if you have the stomach to like face your demons and things like that. They told stories in order in order to motivate people to do their fucking jobs. Right. Right. And and many of those biblical stories, like, um, the purpose is to. Keep people in line. You got to think of like how people were in those days. You know, like it was a lot easier to just fucking kill someone and walk away and face no repercussions. Um, Three thousand years ago. Oh yeah, nobody wants to be killed. Yeah, being killed sucks. Yeah. So you, th those those folks, definitely uh, definitely benefited from the Ten Commandments. I'm sure. <laughs> like. Yeah, thou shalt not kill. Yeah, thou, oh shit, really? Thou shalt not steal. Like, don't fucking steal shit. It seems logical, but it's a, it's a, you know, now we have, like, cameras that will, you know, record you stealing the shit. <laughs> it, it, it changes things. That's true. Um... I mean, you still shouldn't steal, but, yeah. like, if you do, like, you're gonna get fucked up. And I could be wrong about this, but I believe that, like, uh, part of the reason um, like, don't eat pork became a part of Jewish culture a long time ago. Like, that's... M pork isn't kosher. Um, and I th I think, if I remember correctly, part of the reason for that is that, like, in, in, the, in the ancient times, a uh, swine was the least clean of the meats, you know? Like, that would... that would make the most people sick and get them killed, but, like, you know, I can, I don't know if this is true, but I could envision a scenario where, like, a couple thousand years ago, you'd be like, don't eat pig, and people would be like, fuck you, pigs are delicious, and they're everywhere, you know, and I can eat them. But if you say, like, don't eat pig, because fucking God hates it when you do that, then they'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to fucking mess with God, dude. Yeah, and meanwhile, you're helping them, but like, shh. Well, I don't know. Like, I'm not a fucking authority enough to talk about this shit. Um, are you sure? Well, I, I, I have had some bacon in my day. Are you shorty? But I stopped eating, I stopped eating pork myself. Um, I'm not huge on pork, but I love bacon. It, bacon was delicious, as I remember, but it's been a long time, because... Actually, I'm good on pork, I don't like ham. Pigs are fucking too cute, man. Like, I can't, Counter I'm a very hypocritical <laughs> guy when it, I'm like, I won't eat this meat because the animal's cute. But chickens, you guys, uh, uh, not chickens, turkeys, you guys are fucked. Turkeys are vicious, dude. Yeah, they're mean. You gotta eat a turkey because if you don't, they'll eat you. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat a tur- I'll eat the shit out Those of Those motherfuckers turkey. are raptors, dude. But like, a deer? Like a little baby deer? I can't fucking... Mmm, <laughs> deer. Mmm. Venetian. That sounds really good right now. <laughs> Venison. Deer. I've never eaten deer. Uh, I don't, totally I don't think I have either. 
I don't, uh... I told you that story about, like, what, uh, the rabbit, the roommate that cooked rabbit, right? Rabbit's pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure I told this on Grumps before, but I had a Frogs roommate- are good, too. I had a roommate in, uh, college who, uh, was like, I'm gonna cook a rabbit, do you want some? And I was like, yes, I'll try it, because it's interesting and different, but just do me a favor, make sure it doesn't look like a rabbit. Please make it just look like anonymous cubes of meat, you know? Uh -huh. And he was like, of course. And fucking, he brings that thing out like an hour later, it is a fully formed rabbit who's all like, hands, like arms are all mangled and shit, I'm like, oh god! So I didn't eat it. It's like, Thumper, no! <laughs> you should've reverse psychology him and just been like, make it look as much like a rabbit as you can. Yeah. And then he would've been like, ew, gross! Yeah. And then he would've cut it up into anonymous cubes. You're probably right. Man. Or he would have just made it look like a rabbit, and he doesn't give a shit about yeah, you. Yeah, that guy's straight evil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I think it's time for next time on Game Grumps. It's, 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 uh, yeah. Why don't you get that treasure chest? Because I keep getting dicked around by the- I already got it, by the way. Oh. Well, great then. I keep getting dicked around by these fucking keys over here. These motherfuckers with their fucking wings and shit. <laughs> wow. You sure showed them what for. Well, like, I need some health. I don't need arrows. It's okay. It's next time for Game Grumps time anyway. We accidentally went like 25 minutes long. Next time for Game Grumps time? Yeah. Next time for Game Grumps time. Oh, wow, man. And you've been on the show for almost three years now. Next, next Grumpy Gamers from... from <laughs> grumpy Gamesmen! Bye. And also, I'm sure... Just because we talked about religion, I'm sure we offended someone. Sorry about that. We didn't mean to. I'm not we, sorry. Yeah, we respect your beliefs. I respect your beliefs, but I'm not sorry. Oh shit, Aaron. What? You're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay.